44 Now fax your psychic art. We love getting this. The number to remember on the fax is 01332 224127. And then the text, really important, this text, haunted, space, then your comments, then space, then your message to 83088. And of course, we want to get all your information online, and you can see the webcams online, livingtv.co.uk slash most haunted lives. So that's how to get in touch tonight, and please do that. Now, last night, we were absolutely inundated. Almost 25,000 of you entered our viewer competition. We received 14,000 ghost sightings on the webcams, a total of 25,000 over both nights, by the way. That's 6 million hits on the website. Isn't that amazing? Six million hits. Fantastic. Now, the main highlights in the webcams were lots of calls to say you could hear running water on webcam one, and throughout the second half of the show, that was going right from about half past ten, and there were countless reports of a cloaked man and woman in white near the stage at McCluskey's nightclub. Then there was the extraordinary story of Elizabeth Payne. Now, Derek came up with her name in McCluskey's, and during the night, we were contacted by her great-great-grandson, Peter Morris, and he confirmed that Elizabeth Payne was a seamstress at McCluskey's when it was still the Grand Theatre. And most impressive of all, Elizabeth Payne's name doesn't appear in the public domain. So Derek couldn't have known this information or read it anywhere prior to the show. Extraordinary. But it seems also our viewers have psychic powers as well. At the beginning of last night's show, we received yet another fantastic premonition from you, the viewer. Scott Fulsham from London contacted us to tell us that he thought the investigators would feel a major temperature change on their arms during the show. We ran this on our news ticket around about 9.21. Now remember, Derek and Yvette cannot see our news ticker when they're out on location. Take a look at what happened at 9.48. Kira, can you feel the heat there? Here. Just here. Just squeeze your hand and feel the pool under your palms. As if it's like raising. Very warm. Can you feel it's, it? certainly, it's certainly a lot warmer Isn't here that? than it was yeah. further up. Yeah. Mm. Extraordinary stuff. So we'd like to hear from both Peter Morris, Peter, if you're watching tonight, and Scott Fulsham, Scott, if you're watching, give us a call, please, 08712 Look forward to hearing from you. David, back to you. Thank you very much indeed, Jenny. And I have to say, actually, last night I thought was absolutely amazing. And one of the people that I thought was particularly fantastic was David Wells. The psychometry that you did last night really blew me away last night. Now, you've spent quite a lot of time with Matthew since then. Have you managed to convince him that what you've got is a gift? Or does he still hold a rather sceptical opinion? I think he might still have a few doubts. Just a few. Just a few. Yeah, we have, I have tried. Believe me, I've really tried. I respect Matthew's opinions. Uh, but clearly, I have strong opinions of my own. I'm still reeling from being described as Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> I'm sorry um, about that. I've got to say, I'm, as, as you know, I am sceptical. I think sometimes... I'm perhaps portrayed as being perhaps even more sceptical than I really am. I mean, I'm, I'm open-minded. Um, I'm willing to be convinced. And I do think last night when uh, David performed very well on that test of psychometry, it was very impressive. It was very impressive. Um, Can I just jump in there? Because it was impressive. Last night was also very impressive. And this is what happened. What we're going to do is we're going to send you out, Stephen, into our first location, not alone, but with the team. Yeah. I'm getting um, the, the strong smell again of smoke and fire. He's giving me William. 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 When the fire occurred on the 6th of May, 1886, uh, an actor, one of the actors who, he wasn't actually killed in the fire directly, he was dragged out of the flames by a man named William Hill. <gasps> Hear that? But I feel like I'm on fire, I'm absolutely boiling. Yeah. It's a 10 mg. To me, it sounds like pain. It is very impressive. Um, I actually found it quite fascinating. 23,000 people texted for the competition time, which is quite extraordinary. What's that feeling? Sorry, sorry. Why? He's saying to me, you are shit. Come on. Come on, Evie. Oh, it's insane. looking long. No, step back. There is the drawing that we've had with the psychic art. There is the There is the drawing that we've had with the psychic art. And there is the last man to be hanged. At any given time, going through here, movement of what have you, of these, um, the only way I can describe the monks. 
I think it came from the jail. I'm going to stick my neck out on that one. And the neck being stuck out is something this board is very, very friendly with. Just for the first time ever in my work and mediumship to date, I've never undergone that experience. For, a, I don't know whether it was four, five, or six seconds, it, was, it seems as if I was blinded. Well, that was last night. But now, let's move on to tonight. Right, we are going to Elverston Castle. Let's have a look at the 3D graphic of Elverston Castle to give you an idea of what we're talking about. Right, it is not a real castle. It's actually a Gothic-style mansion. Most of it is 18th century, but some parts date back as far as the 16th century. And the mansion stands in 390 acres. And during the Second World War, it was home to a teacher training college, and more than 150 staff and students were accommodated there. The hall became a lecture room, and the cellar became an air raid. There have been 11 Earls of Harrington. They've lived there. There have also been multiple paranormal incidents, and it's said to be one of the most haunted locations in Derbyshire. So let's hear more about its story. Oh, this wonderful place, this treasure called Elverston Castle, within walking distance of the center of the city of Derby. Because of that, it's become Derby's very own castle. It was originally a Viking settlement known as Elvold's Tune, but the vast majority of this incredible place was built between 1813 and 1817 for the Earls of Harrington. It's got, for want of a better word, a plethora of ghosts. It's absolutely inundated with them. And there's ghosts in the graveyard. There's ghosts that walk along the pathway to the castle. Lady Harrington's dressing room is haunted. The Gothic room downstairs has been visited on many occasions by the ghost of a white lady. This lady's also been seen wandering towards the graveyard, always with a dog. One of the most incredible stories is of Kathleen Emily the lady that's buried the wrong way round in unconsecrated ground outside the graveyard. And there are bullet holes, or musket ball holes, actually in the walls of the church where royalist soldiers were lined up and executed. And of course, amongst the ghosts that are seen are the ghosts of cavaliers wandering around the grounds. Derby, lying as it does, where Highland meets Lowland, right in the centre of Great Britain, is the ghost capital of England. I believe one of the reasons is because of the, the location and the fact that so many trackways, roads, and of course before that, ley lines, all tend to cross where Derby is. And of course here we have Derby's castle, all lying in the dead centre of England. Elverston Castle. That is the story that lies in wait for us tonight. But before we start our investigation, let's go over to Julian, who's got very good news about tonight's competition. David, thank you. Yes, and this is big news we've got here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The next year, the next Most Haunted Live will be in September. So, tonight, we've got tickets to give away to come to the Most Haunted Live show in September. Now, you don't, <laughs> you don't just win the tickets, you also win a night in a hotel, we look after you, your VIP guests, our guests tonight sitting in the front row, you get the best seats in the house, so this is a fantastic prize. Six pairs of tickets, just like our guest, David there in the second row there, in the blue shirt. Hi David, give us a wave, there you are, he's the chap we spoke to on Saturday night. Now if you'd like to come to our next Most Haunted Live, all you have to do is answer this question. Derek Acora has a spiritual guide. And this is a text competition, so here we go. Is he A, Sam? No shouting out in the audience, by the way. Uh, is he A, Sam, B, Ivy, or C, Steve? Now, text your answer, please.